Welcome to In The Workshop, some of the current model steam engine collection of my friend James Evans and fitting a check valve to his Stuart 500 boiler. Don't worry, this is not about the diabolical engine that belongs to James. This video features steam tests of two other engines that James has. These were sent to James in order for him to feature them in reviews on his YouTube channel the name of which is shown on screen at the moment. It's called T's Cottage Guy Productions. The channel is named as such because James is a volunteer at a place called T's Cottage. Today James is sat next to me in the workshop as I make this video. And just in case some viewers are confused, the part on the right hand side is not a spacecraft. It is a small boiler. I'm going to switch over now to live audio in the workshop so the quality is not as good but at least you can hear what we're saying. James is about to light the methylated spirit burner. Why have you given me a, a Stanley knife? Well, just in case you want to end it all. <laughs> I hope your lifespan is long enough to see this raise steam. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, better give me that knife back. Just in case. The methylated spirit burner, as you can see clearly in this clip, is very small. And relative to some small spirit burners that I have, this one does not seem to be giving off too much heat. I did mention to James that it wasn't a good idea to leave the bottle of meths right next to the burner. He then moved it out of the way, which is a good thing to do. You should never have the methylated spirit bottle right next to the burner. In this part of the clip, guess what? The boiler is still trying to raise steam, but for a bit of excitement, James is physically moving it so it's in a better position for the camera. You will notice that James is also moving the flywheel. I do like his optimism. Finally, sometime later, there was sufficient steam to rotate the flywheel. And look at the flywheel, it's a bit wobbly. Back over now to live audio. That's interesting. The first thing we notice is that the flywheel is not quite revolving concentrically. Uh, but you can't have everything. Can you turn it round, James? Don't set fire to yourself. I'll try my best. Or second thoughts, the video would get more views if you did. James, set fire to yourself just for the video. Thankfully, James ignored my advice and did not set fire to himself. Will it go any faster than that? We cheated on this bit. We stopped the engine for a while and let the pressure build up inside the boiler. Well, the flywheel still looks wonky to me. Why is the flywheel wonky? Did you do that when you assembled it? Well, one thing I may as well point out as well, the, although I've got the bolts that hold the engine down here, just here, they are too short to go through and reach it, so it's actually super glued down. There's that type. What is? The engine. The entire engine is super glued down to the base. You've done that? Yeah. The bolts, the bolts are too short. £127. You got it as a free sample. Yeah. I'm constantly getting uh, messages from these Chinese companies, like, including this one. Yeah. Uh, and I don't ever take them up on the offer because I really don't do sponsorship. If you do sponsorship, you're supposed to say, this is a wonderful engine. Mm. But, you know, it's all right. But £127, I think, even though I'm not a great Mamod fan, I think I'd buy a Mamod or a Willesco rather than that. Yeah. Although the flywheel is very nice, albeit wonky. It's quite hefty as well. Mm. Everything comes to an end, and thankfully, the steam test on this engine came to an end when I blew out the burner. Now it's time to look at another engine that was also sent to James from the same company, I believe. This engine is a good bit bigger and more comprehensive. It's a beam engine, as you can see. Quality CNC machining, but using metals that I don't think I would have used under the circumstances. Just from an appearance point of view, I personally do not like the combination of stainless steel, brass and aluminium in close proximity to each other. Back over to the workshop live audio again. How much are these? Uh, at the moment they're on discount for 300. I don't know what they are for, you know, brand new. Right, put, fire it up. Right. Once again, using a syringe and some methylated spirit, James filled the burner. 
I think he was a bit paranoid about it overflowing and bursting into flames as it did back home in Darlington. And in this instance, I don't think he put enough meths in the burner because after a while it went out and didn't raise steam and we had to start again. What sits in the workshop and goes woof? James Evans. What's black and crispy and sits at the workbench? James Evans. That's an example of me giving James a bit of encouragement. This is worse than watching paint dry. It took a long time to raise steam. Well, it was sent to me by a Chinese manufacturer called Engine DIY um, to review on my channel. And it retails for about $300. Um, but at the moment, that's on a sale. So how much is without the sale, I really don't know. But it's a simple model of a single acting beam engine with, I must admit, a very work, good working centrifugal governor. Is my lifespan long enough to wait until it's raised steam? Well, I don't know. What's, what's, what's your doctor said? Don't buy a long plane record. Oh, well, um, we'll see what happens. Don't hold your breath. And yes, the boiler is still attempting to raise some steam, so I thought it would be a good idea to say to James, maybe you should oil all the moving parts, and here, at a high speed, is doing just that. It might go now. Famous last words, but eventually... Are you sure the Industrial Revolution started like this? The governor is adjustable as well. Wow. Is that two speed slow and stop? Um, it's just about crawl and then stop. It's whatever floats people's boats, I find. I mean, one man's meat is another man's poison. There are lots of different phrases and sayings, but that's not doing anything for me. In fact, where did I put that Stanley knife? Here you are. No, give me it here before you get carried away. OK, enough. I can't stand this excitement. No. I need to go and lay in a dark room for 12 hours and take tablets. Oh, stop it, stop it. Oh, no, 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 just stop it. That's the high point of the review, really, blowing out the methylated spirit burner. But I must say, it's a very nicely made thing, as most of the things that come from the Far East are very nicely made, but I don't know, I don't get it really. Single acting, piston valve, uh, not very powerful, an aluminium bracket holding the governor. Not very fast. That's an understatement. Now onto something sensible. This is an old Stuart 500 boiler that I gave to James. When I gave it to James, I didn't have a check valve for it. The check valve that is required for this boiler needs to be a quarter by 32 threads per inch, not a quarter by 40 threads per inch. James bought one online that was supposed to be 32 threads where it went into the boiler and 40 threads on the outlet, so I made him up a piece of pipe to fit. But what he received was a quarter by 40 check valve that had been crudely re-threaded on the end that goes into the boiler, 32 threads per inch, and it just revolved in the hole. The check valve wasn't from Stuart Models, he got it from somewhere else. Stuart were out of stock at the time. Luckily now, my friend Chris English, son of Don English of Jubilee Fittings fame, now manufactures quarter by 32 threads per inch check valves. And here is one of a number of them that I bought from Chris, and I'm going to fit this into James's boiler. The only problem is I had to change the union nut and union cone on the piece of 532nd copper pipe that goes from the boiler hand pump to the boiler. I fitted the check valve, as you can see here. It was a nice tight fit. I had to use a shim washer. And then, after an application of 542 thread sealant, I screwed the check valve into the boiler. This final clip shows the check valve in position, ready to pump water into the boiler. Because of the time it took for the engines to raise steam, this video is a bit longer than normal. But now it's over, 
Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.